What is up, YouTube? I am back with a new series, and we are playing, actually, a game that you guys might know. Fallout Shelter. But, it's Fallout Shelter Online. Eh? Eh? Uh, all assigned, yeah. And I'm using a, uh... Each dweller has their own perk. Assign someone that's... Okay, that's good at the job. Sure, I know perks. I don't know any of this stuff. This one is a... Nuclear physicist. Nice. Uh, increase output by 80 per hour. Okay. But, uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm using a emulator to play this. And I don't know how the emulator's gonna work, but I know the game is, uh, currently released in Asia. And it's not out in the U.S., but you can get a, uh, we completed an assignment and this dweller can work. Okay. Uh, but you can get, uh, the game with an APK file and, uh, get it that way. And they... They openly released the APK, so they obviously want us playing it. So I decided to play it, and I decided oh, I don't want to waste a rush, but that's fine. And I figured I love the I loved the old game. I'll probably like this game, so I would give it a shot. The, uh, this way, the vault immediately gets a lot of electricity. Okay. Uh, however, overloading the equipment like this will damage it. Each room can rush products three times per day. Be warmed. See, they've changed a few things. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played the original Fallout Shelter, but in the original one, there were, there was no online. In this one, I think there's guilds and stuff. So I have my brother also joining me in this. Uh, bring the party. We have a co-op channel. And he'll also be playing, so I assume we'll probably make a guild or something. Great. Now let's look at how to build a second power generator to increase the vault's power. So we're just going to go there. We're going to go power generator. And select a suitable. Make sure the rooms are connected to each other. So obviously we'll go right there to extend the room. Nice. And it made one big room. Rooms the same type and level will automatically connect themselves. This helps us manage the vault. Okay. Vault level one to two. Oh baby. Uh, the second power generator is ready. Do you remember what we should do next? Allocate a dweller to work there. Okay. So now we click there. If you guys see any frame dropping, it's probably on my end. It's the, uh, not my computer, but the service, BlueStacks, the emulator. Now our vault has some basic power supplies, but you should now know that there are mutant critter, critter liars scattered around. Critter layers scattered around. They can hide the development of our vault. They can hinder the development of our vault. Okay. Look at these critter layers. Are... Look, these mutant critter layers are right next to the vault's inner passages. If you don't want to be their neighbor, then we must clear them out. Cool. Okay. So let's click there. Oh, this looks so cool. Is it costing me five pills? Enemies, five rewards, go. If we want to attack the enemies, then we need to deploy a combat squad at the vault door because only combat squads are allowed to participate in battles. Okay. Putting together a combat squad is not easy. We need to carefully select our best fighters. Cool. Uh, you can check a dweller's combat properties in the dweller's details uh, details interface. This is their power. That's their level. Cool. Now let's look at the other combat properties. So strong. Just gives you all this stuff. That's their ultimate. In this game, the uh, people have ultimates. Everything on this interface is an important reference for picking up combat members. We should choose the member accordingly. Cool. Uh, after looking at the combat information, I trust, trust that you have a basic understanding of how to begin the allocation. So let's start clearing out the mutant critter layers. Okay, well, she says I trust you to do it, and then she just... Whoa. Little load screen, look at this. This is so nice looking. Be careful, we are in unexplored territory. Don't act rashly before selecting a visible room. 
Let's enter the room. Okay. I am getting a little frame dropping here, but nothing insane. So you guys might see it a little, but it's not that bad compared to what it was in my last run. So I'll explain in a second, but observe the rooms. Okay. This is all like how to walk around. Uh, so how, so originally the, uh, blue stacks was only taking two Ram and most phones have more than two Ram now, but it was only taking two Ram and now I can only, you can only allocate at most three Ram. So I did that. It's running a little bit better. Ideally, it would just use as much RAM as it needs. I have a 64 freaking RAM. I have 64 RAM in my computer. But whatever. Okay, so this is the ultimate. I think once this fills all the way up, she can ult. One more shot. Nice. Our AP rises as the battle progresses. When our AP is full, it's time to use our super ability. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Dude, this is so cool. I love this. Victory. Leave. Give me my, uh... So we got, uh, instant cleared one. We got five nuka... Bottles. Our uh, rooms explored for four enemies defeated. One combat data. Damage taken, 120. None healing done. Okay. In the overseer's office, there is a room real. Okay. I have to say that was quite a thrilling fight. Good thing I was here to pre uh, prepare you. Now let me tell you uh, how to train combat members to increase their combat abilities. This will help you better prepare for bigger challenges. Before we start training, I will be making a list of quests for you to do. This list will help you complete the training in a more orderly fashion. Okay, time to activate the quest system. That looks terrible on a big screen. Uh, build a training room. Okay. I'm not fast forwarding that. I refuse. Unless it's actually free. Is it actually free? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Claim. We get some free food. Some free other stuff. Own one dweller at level 5. Training room is ready. Time for a workout. Info. Assign. Wants me to sign her. Uh, mind you, training costs food, so it is up to us to make each session count, okay? Nice. A dweller has completed a training session and consumed food. Okay. Now we go. Okay, that's our food. If there is not enough food, uh, the training cannot proceed. We also will need a constant supply of food. Open the construction menu and select the diner. It's having us make everything. We're going to have to break that too. Hey, level three. Let's go, baby. Uh, in the diner, uh, the diner is ready. We need to move a decent cook to work there. Before that, you will need to learn about... Uh, we'll need to learn some better tools to help you manage an easier and more efficient management method. In you go. The diner is uh, now running smoothly, but don't get complacent. Your dwellers are always hungry. So select the diner and speed up. The okay. Nice. Okay, there's enough food. Now let's continue training the dweller. We go there. We go level up. Uh, when we have enough food in our food, when we have enough in our food supplies, we can choose to train multiple levels at once. Okay. Max five. Let's go. And it's letting me fast forward that. And did we beat the mission? She level five. Claim. A couple more nuka sodas. Brilliant. I can feel it. Uh, brilliant. I can feel it. Sia is stronger than before. Let's assign her to the vault entrance. Okay. Go, Sia, go! Come on, it's time to see how the training pays off. Let's start clearing the next monster's nest. Okay. 
This one has a couple bigger enemies. We can only go in one. The other ones are locked. Oh, look at these drawings. These things are so cool. The load screens, they do such a good job. Ooh. Shoot quicker. I'm actually eating what feels like a lot of damage. Get him. Am I supposed to freaking die here? Let's go. Nice job, see ya. Little, little pump in the sky. Victory. Okay, let's leave. We got five more Nuka bottles. We got two rooms explored and one enemy defeated. Combat data shows we dealt 988 damage. They dealt 506. Uh, I think it was 100. I don't know what the... Oh, it's 100% because it's not spread amongst anyone. That was like 100% hit or something. <clears throat> oh, is the second monster den also cleared? Impressive so far, rookie. Don't call me a rookie. Check the quest list for the rest. I've listed the final important item for the evaluation in your quest list. <coughs> Claim that. Oh, wait. Clean out the... Yeah, cleaned out the monster's den. Yeah. So now we got this last one. Upgrade the overseer's office to level two. Go. I assume I can already upgrade it. Hey, let's go. Vault level three. You've completed them all? Well, th these tests are meant... Well, these... Well, these tests are meant to be easy. But a good job nevertheless. Nonetheless. Well done, big blue bug. The central command terminal reports suggest that you have done an outstanding job. Keep up the momentum. You will ha be an excellent overseer someday. You must be tired now. Get a good night's rest as tomorrow will be a long day. I don't know if they mean like IRL night's rest. They might. We got we got a chest. Cards, cards, cards. We got Aliens poster. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Ten of those. Electricity. We don't... Electricity. Oh! Stop the presses. Overseer. Everything looks good in the... Oh, oh it, it's the Overseer. Everything looks good in the Overseer... Uh... Uh... uh Candidates are doing brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly. Now it's time for me to do a checkup on the vault's core faculties. Facilities, I don't know. I'm kind of half reading. I feel like I get excited when I'm reading and I read ahead or try and fill in words. Nothing appears to be out of the ordinary. The vault is running smooth, is running smoothly. The resource purifier shows that everything is functioning. Wait, what? What is this message? What? It- Oh, no! Stop it, now! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's only a few minutes left. I think I have- I th I have to think of something. Otherwise, the vault will suffer. I have no other choice. I hope everyone will forgive me. What's the vault? What's- What is our overseer doing? Goodbye, Vault. Wishing everyone only the best. Is this a freaking cutscene? You left the room shocked to see what was going on. Someone opened the vault door. The vault door has unexpectedly been opened. Oh, look at this freaking cutscene. At this time, you find the Overseer gone and his room is empty. What's worse, the resource purifier is missing. There is only a note left by the Overseer in his office. You are now in charge of the vault now. You are in charge of the vault now. 
Suddenly, you see strangers approaching the vault. It's the Minutemen. I, I don't know if that's true. I, I haven't played enough to give you any reassuring answer to that. This is a disaster. How did the vault door open? The overseer is missing. The resource purifier is missing too. A rookie is taking over the vault. Lord, save us. We're doomed. It is the Minutemen. What? Who, who are you? What do you want? It's Preston. Wait, they actually were using the characters from Fault from Four. Hi there. Don't be scared. We are the Minutemen. We mean no harm. We were just passing by and heard some ruckus, so we decided to take a look. Relax. We're not raiders. If you need help, we can provide some assistance. Looks like there's something going on in your vault. How about this? My partner St Sturges is an engineer. We should be able to help. Sure thing. If it is in fact an engineering issue, I'm sure able to handle it in that case i do a patrol and secure the perimeter for you uh i'll be back if there's no trouble nearby sturges you're in charge yeah leave it to me all right guys i think we might be wrapping it up there we're gonna skip through this real quick <clears throat> i think that is a good place to wrap it up we are getting rescued by the minutemen and we are now the new owners of a vault I hope this saves. I don't really know how the blue stacks works with everything, but I'm just going to close it and pray. Right? I guess that's all I can do. I don't know if I see a save button. Either way, guys, I will be leaving this here, and I will be back for another episode in either a day or a couple days. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It's the first episode in a new series, and something way out of my normal comfort zone we're getting into mobile apps i don't know i don't know i just like the game so i figured i'd try it and other than that guys i'm gonna see you guys in that next episode oh and hit that subscribe button come on you guys are probably all new i can't imagine this being a normal hit with my crew but maybe it is i don't know i'm excited i'm excited thank you everyone for watching and see all of you in that next video bye